Welcome to the Lightning Fast series with Informatica Cloud. In this video, I will show you how to use external IDs to synchronize data in Salesforce with data in a third-party system, such as an order management or billing system. I will also show you how to use the Related Objects feature to link related data, such as contacts and accounts, in Salesforce. Let's walk through the business scenario. In addition to Salesforce, your company is using an on-premise billing system. This system contains account information that must be kept in sync with the account information in Salesforce. You have a file that contains all of the account data from the billing system. Your goal is to synchronize that data with the account data in Salesforce. Here is an example of a single record in the file. Note that it contains information about the account, such as the account name, street address, city, state, and postal code. It also contains an account ID. This ID is used to uniquely identify this account record in the billing system. When you use Informatica Cloud to upsert the data into Salesforce, the account ID from the billing system is stored on the account record in Salesforce in a custom field that has been marked as an external ID field. When information in your billing system changes, in this case, a fax number has been added for the Acme account, and you use Informatica Cloud to upsert the data a second time, the existing record is found in Salesforce using the external ID field and the record is updated. In this case, the fax number is added to the account in Salesforce. In a further example, you may also have a file that contains all of the contacts defined in your billing system. Note that a contact record contains information about the contact, such as the first and last name, as well as a contact ID that uniquely identifies the contact in your billing system. The contact record also contains an account ID. This field is used to relate the contact back to an account. When you use Informatica Cloud to upsert the contact data into Salesforce, the contact ID from the billing system is stored on the contact record in Salesforce, and the account ID is used to relate the contact back to the correct account. To add an external ID field to an object in Salesforce, click on the Setup link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Now, locate the App Setup section in the menu on the left-hand side of the screen and click on the Customize link. Locate the object that you wish to add the field to. In this case, I will click on the Accounts object. To add a new field to the Accounts object, click on Field. This page shows you all of the fields that have been defined on the Accounts object. Scroll down to the Custom Fields and Relationships section and click the New button. You will be prompted to select the field type. Scroll down and select Text. Click the Next button. You will now be prompted to enter a label, maximum length, and name for the field. Next, click the Set This Field as the Unique Record Identifier from an External System checkbox. Note that this option must be selected as it marks the field as an external ID in Salesforce. Click Next. You will be prompted to define the field level security for your new field. Specify a profile access and click the Next button. You will be prompted to add the new field to page layouts. Select the page layouts and click the Save button to create the field. Note that you'll repeat these steps to create an external ID field on the contact object. Now I will create two data synchronization tasks, one that upserts the account data and one that upserts the contact data. To create a new data synchronization task, click on the Data Services tab, then click the New button. Enter a name for the task. Next, select the operation for the task. In this case, it is very important that you select the upsert operation. This means that the external ID field will be used to look for records in Salesforce. Records that have changed will be updated, and records that don't exist will be inserted. Click Next to define your data source. Select the source connection and select the file that contains your account data. Note the billing system ID field in the source data file. This field identifies the record in our billing system and will be mapped to the account's external ID field in Salesforce. Click the Next button to define your data target. Select your Salesforce connection. And select Account as the target object. Click Next. 
I'm going to skip this step as we aren't defining any data filters at this time. I now need to map any fields that were not automatically mapped by ICS. First, because I selected an upsert operation, I'm going to make sure that my external ID field is mapped. Note that an external ID field in Salesforce is denoted by a special icon, a key with a green plus in front of it. I'm going to drag and drop my account ID field on the billing system ID field in Salesforce. I'll then map any additional fields such as the account name and phone number fields. Once all the fields have been mapped, I'll click Save to save my task. I will now create a second data synchronization task. This task will upsert contacts and relate them back to the correct account. Again, I will select the upsert operation. I will select the same source connection, and this time select the contact data file. Note the account ID field in the source data file. The value in this field will be used to relate the contact to the correct account in Salesforce. Click the Next button to define your target. Now I'll select my Salesforce connection and this time select the contact object. Click the Next button. Again, I'm going to skip this step as we aren't defining any data filters. Now I'll complete the field mappings. Note that the account ID field is mapped automatically. I'll also need to map the contact ID field and a few other fields. In order to properly relate contacts back to accounts in Salesforce, I need to complete one additional step on this page. I need to identify the relationship between a contact and account and specify the external ID field that is used to link the objects. Note that this feature is available for any objects that have a predefined relationship in Salesforce. In this case, account and contact have a master detail relationship. I'm going to click on the Related Objects button. In the first row, which specifies the relationship between a contact and an account, select the external ID field. Then click OK. I'll now click Save to save my task. The final step is to add these two tasks to a task flow so that I can automatically run them together and in order. Updating account data first, then contact data. To create a task flow, click on the Configuration tab. Now click Task Flows. To create a new task flow, click the New button. Give the task flow a name. If you want the task flow to run automatically, select a schedule. To add a task to the task flow, click the Add Task button. Make sure Data Synchronization is selected from the Task Type menu. Then select your task from the list. Click OK. Repeat the steps to add the Contact Sync task. Click OK to save the task flow.